What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of ReCore. Oh, yeah, guys. So last episode, yeah, that was the first time I've ever tried playing ReCore. Yeah, the game had just came out minutes before I tried playing it. Uh, first time I've actually recorded a console game as well. So the audio levels were a little off, I guess. Uh, but yeah, I'm recording using XSplit. And XSplit, when you record, uh, it records the microphone and the game sounds all in one track. So if one's too low or one's too loud, there's nothing really you can do about it you can kind of correct it a little bit but yeah anyway i left it the way it was it is what it is okay so we just collect i guess that's energy or shields or something for for a mac i'm not exactly sure what that is what's making that sound um anyway i did test the uh the sound volumes and they sound like they should be okay now so i'm pretty good with that what's up here Ooh. Okay, whatever this is, is making some kind of a sound. Um, we do like the charge. Now, I'm not sure what this is. Whatever it is, I probably something we're gonna have to come back to a little bit later. I can only imagine. Okay, we'll leave that alone. Uh, but yeah, like I said, I tested all the levels and I think everything's gonna be sounding okay this time. So I apologize for the lower game sounds last time anyway let's go ahead and move on with this game oh my goodness i'm having a lot of fun just kind of like derping around with the game so far uh the combat feels pretty good the uh the movement all of that feels pretty good in this game um i was just playing a moment to go so i guess the enemies that were here have been cleared out and they're not respawning back but that's fine um i also saw that there was an audio log on top of this ship this is about as far as I got. I was just kind of like playing around a little bit to see what things are doing here. Yeah, so there is an audio log, a little purple glowy thing over here that I picked up. Uh, you can look at this in the log section. Yeah, so it's from Volt, V1, OLT, I guess. So we click on here, click on here. It's just a bunch of scrambled. So anyway, I have no idea what that says. I can't understand that language. Uh... <laughs> But anyway, this looks like this is going to be a really, really fun game. So I'm thoroughly looking forward to playing through this and see what all the game has to offer. Um, okay, so let's continue on over here. We do have a waypoint. And I assume that's where we are supposed to go. It looks like there are different places we can go, though. This is kind of an open world game, so we could kind of explore around a little bit. Like, I have no idea what this is. Is that just... Is that like an elevator or something? Whoa. Okay. Get wrecked. Um, where you at? Lock on, lock on. All right. Does that thing just keep coming back, or was that a second one? I guess that was just a second one. Anyway, let's check what this is. Oh, that hurts. Okay, I guess that's just steam. I was thinking that was like something that would launch me up there onto those rocks or something. I guess not. There's like some kind of a pathway or something that goes up the side of that rock. All right, all right. Oh, here's another one of those rocks that makes a sound. That one is glowing different colors. Interesting. All right, well, let's just move on. We'll go towards our waypoint over here and see what we can discover. Hopefully, we'll get into a little bit more combat. I want to fight some things. And Oh, we're just going right here. I thought we were going a lot further than that. Enter crawler. Uh, oh, X. Let's get inside and see if this core will turn the power back on. So yeah, anyway, um, some of the things that I've noticed about this game is it has extremely long load times. I don't remember if I mentioned that last last episode or not, but uh, yeah, the load times are pretty atrocious in this game. Like when you die and stuff and it has to reload, yeah, it can take a while. That wasn't that bad though. Hope this works. Weird. 
Doesn't look like it lost any energy at all. Hey, kiddo. If you get this message before you go to sleep, sweet dreams. If not, wake up already. It's been 200 years. <laughs> Listen, I just wanted to tell you I've got a little more work to do here. But they're holding a space for me on the next evacuation fleet. And I'll meet you on Far Eden. Just like I promised. Don't worry, Jewel. Everything's going according to plan. I know, Mac. Nothing is going according to plan. I mean, look. The pylon in the next sector is offline. Now that we've got power, we can unlock the gate, go over there and check it out. But this report says the pylon's been offline for... 96 years? So why didn't we wake up right when the problem started? We're the closest maintenance team, right? What happened, Dad? Where are you? And where's everybody else? Come on, Mac. I'll get you fixed up. And then we both need to fix that pylon. All right, objective complete, homeward bound. Come on over to the workbench, Mac. Use the workbench to research and equip a replacement part for Mac. I guess we're going right here. All right, so get on the workbench. The workbench. This is the workbench here. Jewel can research and equip new parts, change loadouts, and upgrade her core bots. Research the blueprint and replace Mac's broken part with the new one. Okay, press A to select the research blueprints to research a new part for Mac. Let's do that. I'll do the frame. I guess we're going to just click A on this one. Do you want to spend this required materials to research? Yeah, do it. Bingo! Now, to equip the part of Mac's frame, press B to back out of this menu. Back out. We got to equip on the core bot section. Uh, select... Mac, good. Uh, select his four leg slot and press A. Oh, okay, so you can equip, you can change out his head, his four legs, his hind legs, or what is that? Is that his body? I'm not sure what part this one is. Eh. Anyway, let's do his four legs. Um, Are these the ones we just made? Broken? Okay, so the ones that's equipped is the top one, and then we have two that we can select from. So let's do this one. Awesome! Press B to apply the change and exit the assembly screen. Save loadout. Loadout saved! Great! Mac is ready to go. Press B to back out of this menu. Alright, back out. Uh, more blueprints! You have additional blueprints in your inventory. Gather the required materials and return to the workbench to research and equip these new parts. Keep your eyes open for more blueprints as you explore Far Eden. Okay, Mac. Ready to help me fix that terraforming pylon? Okay, so we have a new objective, Paradise Lost. There's like so many things that are happening. <laughs> okay. Uh, stash transfer. Each time the crawler is entered, the cores, shards, and loot in your inventory is automatically transferred to the crawler stash. You can check your stash at any time by using the workbench. Okay. That's pretty cool. Can I use the workbench again? Is there anything else that I can create right now? Or do I have to go out and find the blueprints? Do I have anything else? Uh, does the X... Oh, the X must mean that I don't have all the required materials. Oh, that's the canine augment, the head, and then the hind legs and four legs. I get it. I don't know what the augment is, but anyway, that's kind of cool. All right. So crafting materials. So that's something we're going to have to keep an eye out for is all sorts of different crafting mats. Uh, what is oh, this look. thing? Our transfer plate is powered up, too. I guess that's the transfer plate. 
exit crawler is there anything else in here worth looking at signal lost i guess not it would probably give me a waypoint or something if there's something else here let's go ahead and exit the crawler The pylon is in the next sector, Mac. Let's get going. All right, the pylon is in the next sector. Ah, we're going over here. That was kind of what we were just exploring a moment ago. Yeah, I really like the double jump and the uh, the boost forward. <laughs> That's pretty There's fun. There's the crawler gate. Mm, I'll have to initiate the manual override since our hunk of junk is buried in the sand. All right, manual override. Do it. Interact with it. And we're in. Nice. That was easy. Far Eden was the closest planet with an Earth-like atmosphere. It wasn't perfect, but it sure had potential. So I'm seeing like these crystal things here. I don't know what this is. If it's even worth looking at. Can I shoot him? No, Come that, to me. <laughs> that's just like decoration or whatever. Okay. So our waypoint is way over here. Ah, oh, we got to fight right away. Let's go ahead and see if we can extract, see if we remember how to do this. Nice. Nice! That was easy. Oh! Get wrecked before I could even do any extracting. Worn SPDR wires. Okay, so crafting materials. Oh, we can extract right away? There we go! Nice! Nice, nice. Stay alert, Mac. The core bots in this sector look corrupted too. Uh, so there's a lot of stuff they're giving us right here. Let's go ahead and grab that. Uh, worn canine sensors. We got worn rivets. Worn canine sensors. Worn rivets. Now, is there other stuff around here that we should be looking at? Like, it obviously wants us to go that direction. Over here, Mac. They kind of feel like this game's gonna have some hidden stuff around, so maybe it'd be worthwhile to kind of just poke around and see what we can see. It almost feels like we can jump down here a little bit, right? Uh, probably don't want to go too far down, otherwise <laughs> we're gonna end up getting killed. But yeah, this definitely looks like an open world game that wants you to explore a little bit and kind of find out what there is that you can find. Um, so I am kind of interested just to look around this area before we commit to going over that bridge to see if there's anything else hidden around here. Let's go. You got the scent, Mac? Can Mac find anything for us? I don't think so. I don't think there's anything here that he's supposed to look for. All right, well, I think we're good. Let's just go ahead and cross. I was hoping to find some kind of like treasure or I don't know, another audio log or something like that, but none of that is around. All right, let's continue on then. Go, go, get up there. Pylon. It's totally grounded. <sighs> I know, Mac. Let's get to the pylon before that storm hits. Uh, so where's the best way to get across? I guess we're just gonna double jump. That structure is the pylon's control center. 
Or what's left of it, anyway. More worn K9 sensors. We're getting a lot of those. So yeah, these kinds of games, like I said, I kind of feel like going around the edges a little bit, just kind of seeing if there's anything off to the side that you might miss. Uh, looks like we probably could get up. Oh, I guess not. I was going to say, it looks like we probably could get up there to that level, but I don't think we're allowed to do that. Uh, no, not quite. Not quite. Oh, there is some stuff right here, though. Worn pistons, worn rivets, and more worn rivets. Ah, we got stuff up here. Lots of things, lots of goodies to collect. Whoops. All right, let's try that again. Aha. Uh, canine stabilizers, worn pistons. I kind of wish I knew uh, what materials we need for the workbench to upgrade Mac to the next parts or whatever. Let's kind of go around this way. Oh, whoa, get up there. Aha. Aha. It does kind of pay to explore around a little bit. So, worn lenses, canine pads, sensors, and a sensor. Looks like there is something else over here, potentially. Whoa, what was that? Did I trigger a fight <laughs> that's below? Worn pistons. All right, so nothing super crazy. What's up here, Mac? The storm's getting worse. We need to get inside, quick. Oh, here we go. Can I lock on? Can I lock onto this thing, please? I won't let me lock onto it. I don't know. <laughs> there we go. Get it. Get that core. No, no, no. Get the core. Get the core. Nice. All right. So what items are these? More pistons. More K9 sensors. It seems like those are pretty common items. Uh, we got lenses and worn plating. Oh man, there's like so much stuff over here. All right, and it looks like there's more stuff this way. So I kind of want to go and get as many of these crafting materials as we possibly can so we can upgrade Mac, right? That seems like a pretty good idea. All right, so we got another worn lens, worn plating, worn servos, and worn canine valves. I see there's two more items over here. Let's see if we can get over to those pretty quickly. Um, oh, okay, that. I'm not sure if I was supposed to get up Are that way. Are those canine frames? They don't look like any I've ever seen. Are what canine frames? All right, let's get these items. Canine pads. Worn rivets. Oh, that must be what she's talking about. I guess they can't lock on if they're too low or not on the same level. Like, I can see them. Oh. All right, shield break. Let's get that. It's probably going to be a rare one or something, right? Rare red core level three. Nice. Need to weaken it first. Whoa. Are they going to come down here? Here they go. Very cool. Someone must have modified the frames. But why? There are more items down there. There's like items everywhere. I like it. I like going around and finding things to collect. To me, that is what makes the game fun. So worn pistons, worn lenses, and more worn pistons. And lenses and pleating. 
it's too bad it seems like a lot of the items are very much the same thing all the time though so what is over here okay got some kind of a thing here april 29th 2053 it took me and victor a week to reach the landing site for the supply vehicles we had to route our crawler around a rockfall that wasn't on any of the surveys but most of the core bots are in fine condition and the prime core is safe thank god we'd never be able to terraform this planet without it in 200 years far eden will have blue skies water trees it will be a paradise like earth before dust devil Victor will be overseeing construction of the first stage facilities while I get the Prime Core online. If he and the other core bots continue to perform as well as I designed them, I might not need to wake any of the other humans for this shift. Alright, let's get that core. Give me that core. Give it. There it is. There it is. Level four. Canine pads and worn pistons. Cool. Yeah, this is, I don't think, is there a difficulty setting in this game? I don't think I ever saw that there was one. To be honest, I think the game feels a little easy, but then again, I'm just having fun derping around and having a good time exploring this game. Um, so I don't know where we're supposed to go here. Obviously we're supposed to go that way towards the waypoint, but I don't know if there's a way through here. It is very difficult to see because of the sandstorm though. Is there a way out of this ship or whatever and we can continue on over that direction? Oh, what is this? Cool. All right. Can we climb up here? Now, it looks like that's an invisible wall or something. All right, well, somehow we got to find our way through this area. It might be we have to climb up that cable to the chain or something. Oh, okay. That electrifies or that electrocutes me. Uh, that's probably not the way. Well, there's a light here. That's usually a good sign. I hope there wasn't some door that I just missed in there. There could have been. All right, well, we got up here anyway. We can get to this chain. That's crazy looking. All right. I feel like we were here a little bit ago. But I guess we never went over this way. We kind of went down and back around. Um, let's collect these items over here and then we'll go over to the waypoint. So canine stabilizers, canine plating, or worn plating, worn pistons. Cool. Once the pylons were up and running, we figured it would take about 200 years to stabilize the environment. Of course, if any of the pylons failed, all bets were off. I guess that isn't something we're supposed to do. All right. All right. We're here, Mac. Now what? <laughs> oh, we're supposed to go. Oh, we're supposed to go in here. The store's all powered down. Wonder if I can use that core we found to give it some juice. Okay. Well, if we stand on this, actually, let's shoot that thing collect more of these oh we're supposed to interact See what you can find no 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 insert core here it is uh enter cool well we made it to the storm shelter so that's pretty awesome all right, guys. So I tell you what, I think we're going to go and wrap it up here. And next time we will continue on, uh, see where the storm shelter is going to take us. All right. That's it for today. Thanks for watching guys. And we'll see you next time.